Hiya, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the hill climb at Chateau Ipney 2019. I came to this last year for the very first time not knowing what to expect and all I can say is if you like cars, like hill climbs, it's such an amazing day out. The only way to describe it is to show you. So what I'm going to do is show you where I've started which is basically a car park for all the cars that are on display that people can get to see, look and view. And most car shows, it's, it's a ball like trying to get to see a car that you like and film it or take a picture. Whereas here, throughout the whole of the grounds, it's brilliant. Every sort of area, you can sort of get to what you want to see. So, first of all, I'm going to show you where I've started, what's here. And I'm going to take you around the rest of the uh, grounds and show you what there is to do see at this event. This is basically what you see when you come when you come in first of all you just zoom over there that's where you come through you park the other side of that fence and then this this is basically what you see first of all I don't think this was here last year It's an old Pontiac just in front over there. Let's go over to the Aston Martins. The bloke I work with loves Aston Martins. The sport for choice over here. A Vanquish has just left not so long ago. I think a lot of these are just DBS's and Vantage. Vantages, not that they're not nice. The Vanquish S is probably one of my favourites and the DBS, the new DBS. DB9. V12 Vantage, that's not too bad to be fair. So like I say, this is the first area that you're coming to can see you can just basically browse around the cars and for once it's not all crowded because some car shows that you go to you can't get to see the cars and even further down I'm going to take you a bit later you can you can look at everything it's not as though it's all crowded by everyone because the, the blending car show that it's in me at last year that's just crowded you know it's just such it's so awkward to get to, to see the cars and film and take pictures you've got everyone crowded around certain cars you can't really get any shots that you want. It's all classic cars over there. Such a mix of cars as well for all different tastes. You like your supercars, you like your classics. It's just loads. It's a nice Cobra over here. And what's this? What's this yellow thing? Is this another Pontiac? Oh no, I think I might be corrected. It's not. What is it? Oh, it's a Cougar. And there's a Plymouth. A nice Mustang. There's quite a few Mustangs here today. TVR. Oh, and there's a lovely Corvette. Corvette Stingray, one of the very, one of the very, very early models. There's loads more over there. I didn't really notice. So, like I say, this is basically the first area that you come to, and you just browse around at your leisure, really. No, is that another Cobra over there? I don't think it is. That's the one I'm looking at. That one there. Well, I, had a, I had a Mark IV R32 a few years ago and I sold it. Absolutely loved that car. I just drank just drank my fuel because I did quite a bit of tuning to it naturally. I never turboed it. Ooh, there's the old Dukes of Hazard car over here. Just 
Dutch Fort and Morgan. I think Richard Hammond would like this. Although it's not completely full of wood, <laughs> so maybe he wouldn't. <laughs> A joke there. Isn't it? Oh, sorry. Steven Spielberg, eat your heart out. <laughs> So, oh, and a Corvette over there. So let's take a look over the other side and what you can see. And hopefully we'll get some shots of more cars racing. Because when I started, when we got here, I'd done the, the first practice runs. Because it's a two day event. And on the Saturday, it's over the weekend, Saturday it's the practice run and Sunday is the timed races. So let's go over the other side and see what we can see. And as you cross over this bridge, over the race course, you come to where all the cars are that race up the hill. We've actually got them in shot. <laughs> all the old style cars and further down cars, all the old style cars. That are on display have been up. I don't know if they'll do another a race today. And just in the distance is the actual chateau where you can stay. And it was cool seeing these earlier on, all these minis that were racing up the hill. They're just right outside the entrance of, of the hotel. And after the minis, it carries on round all through the entrance. And if you're lazy and you can't be asked to walk, this will cart you about throughout the whole area. <laughs> I'd rather use my legs, that's what they're for. And all these types of cars, all the different classes that race throughout the day are along here. And like I say, all the supercars and hypercars are further down, right at the entrance. Further along, we have more cars on display. To look at, and all the different classes. Oh, what we got starting up here. A nice Mustang there. And like I said, that is one of the things, whatever type of car that you're into, if it's not here, <laughs> then I can't help you. There's just all different classes of cars, whether it be classics, modern cars, muscle cars, hyper cars, super cars, whatever car. There's a lovely Corvette there again. And this is another one of the fills that you can see and view all the cars that are on display. Some more classics here in front and like I've said to you before, there's the buggy that takes you back and forth if you can't be bothered to walk. Now, the best to last. Oh, another one's getting ready to go. Where shall I start? We'll start here. The right side. So we have a Super Ligera, a Bentley, Another Super Legera, all from Aston Martin Birmingham, 458. Not that these cars need explaining, but for those of you that don't know, they are though. 911 Turbo S, Honda NSX, a Ferrari, lovely grad, I don't know whether it's coming across as nice on screen as it is right in front. TDF, a real sort of lovely baby bright blue 720S, next to a Maserati, baby blue GTR, Ferrari's 488 GTB race car, an Enzo, and then Billionaires cars really and these appear every year that I've been to the Blending Palace Supercar Show Bug one and this is 
the I forgot it. How can I forget what this is? I've been telling my girlfriend today what this is. Chiron, there you go. Bigassi Chiron. Next to a load of people dressed up, or one girl dressed up. Another Bugatti. And if you notice, they're all Bog, private owner. And one quite a rare car, to be honest. A Jaguar concept car that was never actually sold. And if you ask the Martin lover, a Vulcan. Beautiful that is. Absolutely beautiful. I'll say that again just in case you did me a neat Vulcan. Let's go over this side. You've got the Michelin sports stand there. The nice Jag, your SVR. Another Jag. The Renault. Lamborghini SV GTR Alpine recently featured on Top Gear and the Grand Tour and I'm pretty sure that this is the yeah oh no sorry I was going to say the uh, 650S I was thinking it was the uh, the 650 the LT, I think it is. Next to classic Ferrari, but that's worth a fair few pounds. Ferrari, Mustang 5 litre, 458. Morgan there. And to finish off with a matte black GT. IMG. I like these but I wouldn't say they're my favourite. And look how easy that was to just view them all and actually get shots of them. You're not you know, people aren't crowding you. It's just so easy to get to. And that's what it's been like the whole day. Well, that about wraps it up for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you have taken the time to view this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I will be uploading more content soon. Because if you've watched any of the few videos that I've done, you'll notice there's a huge time gap from the one in Blenheim Palace to this one. I do apologize for that, for anyone that has subscribed to the channel. But there will be more videos to come soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.